Are you pondering what the percent compositions of cobalt and sulfur are in cobalt 2 sulfide? Well, you've come to the right place. Let's figure that out. First, we're going to find the molecular mass of this compound. Bam. So the first thing I'm going to do is write the elements that I see in the compound. So I see cobalt, CO, and I see sulfur, S. Next is then to label the number of atoms. Now, the subscript of each of these uh, will be a 1, so therefore there's 1 cobalt and 1 sulfur. Then you're going to take those numbers of atoms and multiply by the mass of the element. Where do we find the mass? You got it. Periodic table. Let's take a look. Here's the mass of cobalt, 58.93, and here's the mass of sulfur, 32.07. So let's write that in. So 58, 58.93, and then we have 32.07. All we're simply then going to do is find the total mass of each element. So we're going to take the 58.93 and multiply it by 1. So that's just 58.93. And then the same thing here for the 32.07. Then we simply add these two now up to find the total mass of the entire compound. And that works out to be about 91. And now we have found the total mass of the compound. Now we need this total mass in order to find the mass percents of each particular element here. So I'm going to add a column to the table and it's going to be easy peasy. Bam. So all we need to do to find the mass percent of, let's say, cobalt is to take the total mass of that cobalt, the 58.93 and simply divide it then by the total mass of the entire compound, the 91. That's why we had to do that first. And then just multiply by 100. This is a simple percent calculation, right? Part over whole times 100. Easy peasy. So now all we're going to do is basically calculate that, right? So this will work out to be about 64. Let me write that four a little neater. 64.7, what is that? Seven, yeah, seven, six, I guess. Seven, six percent. All right. So that takes care of the cobalt. And then the sulfur, we take the total mass of that sulfur we found, the 32, 32.07. And we simply divide that then by the 91. You can leave out the two zeros in the bottom, it really doesn't matter. And this works out to be about 35, 35.24%. And if this was done properly, what should happen is that these two percentages should add up to what? 100%. Now you know how to find the percent compositions of each element here in cobalt 2 sulfide. Thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to helping you with more problems in the future. Check it out. We got thousands of videos out there, different subjects also, physics. We got chemistry. We got mathematics. Biology is coming out soon. We got a whole bunch of other stuff, statistics. Again, we look forward to helping you with more stuff. Take care.